All right, uh, I'm going to try round two on the uh, alcohol burner here. Um, got the can made a little earlier. Got some jets. Got it filled. Uh, fire suppression at hand. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to try doing is holding the top on it. I'm thinking maybe last time the original explosion or the original ignition is what forced the, the halves of the can apart. So, I'm just going to try it like this and not light anything. Nope. Going? It's not going? I have no idea. Yes, we have success. Like I said, the alcohol burns so clean, it's almost impossible to see. put this in maybe you can you can see this the edge blacken there you go you can see it. so yeah working pretty good Never used this before, it's not even clean. It's just something I uh, sort of had laying around. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here. And we'll we'll set it on this thing and see if it'll boil. You know, I don't I don't know what's gonna happen right now. I don't know if it's just gonna snuff out what we have burning or what's gonna happen. Um the fact that I just covered up all the jets seems to make me think that that's what would happen. So, with that in mind, yes, that is what happened. Alright, uh, that should have been obvious. Alright, easy enough. That just means whatever we put over top of it needs to be supported. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm just using junk I had laying around. Trying to make it, you know, stable. Since this is the, the early experiment, I definitely don't want my uh, boards catching right along with my my cup here. Metal definitely would have been a better choice, but I'm using what I had laying around. So it's been on there maybe 10 seconds. Let's we'll see what happens. And while we make hot water, I'll enjoy a cold beer. Just really stunning footage of water about to boil. Definitely see the heat either coming around it or off of it.
Yeah, after the uh, explosion and fire concerns of the original, I'm happy to see this one work simply and without incident. The, uh, another modification I made to this can, and uh, you, you might have been able to see it in the earlier picture, was that I pushed the inner top can down slightly past the lip. Uh, and what that let me do was roll the lip over to sort of lock the cans together. There's about three quarters to about three quarters of a cup of water in here, and it's it's already warm. I'd, I'd go maybe a hundred, hundred and ten degrees. So this will work in pretty short order. Uh, you know, obviously you don't want to cook Thanksgiving dinner in a canteen cup. But um. Yeah, for the uh, the poor man's alcohol burner, I say this is a success. Oh, the, uh, the fuel, I, I did not use heat, it's just regular denatured alcohol. Hey! What are you doing? Making a video. Huh? Making a video. Why don't you do the dishes? You know, I had, I'm not baking that cake until the kitchen's clean. Let's let you have. Alright. Starting to get the little tiny bubbles forming on the bottom. I don't know if the, the distortion over top of it's visible on the... No, that's just the camera shaking. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can see the distortion going up the tree there. Of course, with a lid, uh, we probably could have gotten it to boil a little bit sooner, trapping a lot of the heat in there. Um, my canteen itself is plastic, so I didn't really have anything to seal it off with. But, uh, Anyway, it'll 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 do just fine for uh, this little demonstration. We're getting some bubbles on the side. Yep, we're boiling. So we're at like 10 minutes. Awesome.